Good morning, friends. Good morning, Miss Sarah. Oh, hey, good morning, Miss Lauren. What you doing over there? Uh, Miss Lauren, you know what? I heard that Jesus sits on the right side. I read that in the Bible before. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I just, I don't see him on your right side. I'm not, I'm not sure where he oh, is. Oh, Miss Sarah, the Bible tells us that Jesus sits at God's right hand, oh. not mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's more sense. So in the book of Ephesians chapter one, it says that God worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named not only in this age but also in the one to come okay I get it so we don't see Jesus sitting right here next to us because he's in heaven that's right miss Sarah Jesus is the king and his throne is in heaven seated at God's right hand side but even though he is the king and lives in heaven he's still our king here on earth oh Okay, I see. So even though we don't see God and he lives in heaven, he still has power over us and power over the earth, right? Yeah, that's right. That's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. God made Jesus the king above all kings, and that means he is more powerful and more important than any rulers here on earth. And he gave us his words in the Bible so that we can follow him and know the rules that he wants us to live by. But he also gave us some rulers on earth and those rulers can make special rules that we have to follow too. That's right. Okay, so some of our rules come from God. We read those in the Ten Commandments and in the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. And then some of our rules come from leaders here on earth. Friends, can you turn to someone next to you and think of one rule that you remember that God made and one rule that you remember that a leader here on earth made? It can be hard sometimes to tell the difference between God's rules and the rules that our leaders have made here on earth because most of the rules are there just to keep us safe. But luckily we have the Bible to tell us what God says about how he wants us to live and how he wants us to be a part of his kingdom. That's right. You know what? I am so grateful that God loves us so much that he protects us in that way.